guys it's noah from trouting in the mountains and i did a unboxing video of the november 2016 lucky tackle box trout edition on my other youtube channel nc bass and tv but you know i really shouldn't have because this is a trout box on a bass fishing channel so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump into this box and kind of go more in depth uh with these lures that are in this month's box and uh, on my other channel, you know, I just briefly went over um, the stuff that was in the box. If you don't know what Lucky Tackle Box is, it is a subscription-based company where you can pay $5 for your first box of goodies. And then uh, every month after that, you can pay $15 a month. And they'll send you baits uh, right to your door every month. Whether you be a trout fisherman, a bass fisherman, walleye, saltwater guy, uh, anything they have all of those boxes covered for whatever kind of angler that you guys are but let's jump over into the unboxing all right guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to open the box up and then i'm just gonna show show you guys the lures right here and tell you the retail value about them and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into more depth you know where to throw them what kind of gear to use the line uh, how to work these lures and stuff like that back over at the kitchen table so whenever you open your box up every month uh, lucky tackle box takes the time to wrap everything up in this little uh, paper uh, it has ltb on it which stands for lucky tackle box so let's jump into it all right the first thing that we have in here is like a little jerk bait um, by Trout. Uh, I mean, not Trout. It's by Best. Right here, this is the manufacturer's name. Um, it doesn't have a size or a color or anything, uh, but on the little uh, Fish Hound magazine, it says a pike, uh, pike fish. Uh, this retails for $4.99 right here. Uh, the next thing is a Biowa Divinator Mini. Uh, this retails for... Uh, $9.99. Biowa has great products. Uh, I've used them before. Caught some good fish on them. This is 5 16 ounce and it's kind of like a little chartreuse minnow. Uh, the next thing that we have on here is some Mustad. Uh, let me see. Beak Live Bait Holder. They retail for $1.89. It says Slice Shank Hook. They are size 8 and they are 10 in a pack. The next thing in here is Lake Fork Trophy Lures. In my unboxing video on my other channel, I ripped the front part out of the bag open right here. But it's kind of like a, a little um, minnow imitation right here. These retail for $3.39. They are the sickle tail baby shad and two and a quarter of an inch. Uh, the next thing we have right here. Our not head tackle original jigs uh, with the two inch grubs as the trailers. They retail for $239. Uh, the next thing, well, it's the last thing in here, is by Southern Pro, the two inch trout stingers. Uh, they retail for $299. And then you get a golden ticket. Uh, I did not watch the Lucky Tackle Box live uh, the 20th, it was this past Sunday. So I don't know if I won anything or not. You could have won um, fishing rods, fishing reels, a year Lucky Tackle Box subscription, or an all-expense paid trip to fish with the man, the myth, the legend, Travis Moran, Andrew Flair, and also Lunkers TV, who is not in this little picture right here. Uh, and then the other thing you get in here is a Fish Hound magazine. Uh, there's some good fishing articles in here and it kind of tells you what's in your box as well so let's go jump over here at the table all right guys so the first thing that i'm gonna you know go more in depth to i guess since i pulled it out of the box first well first thing i got out of the box was the fish hound magazine kind of go over it for a second um it tells you you know what's in your box this is the trout right here and then they have panfish box um Let's see what else I got. A Bass XL, which is a bigger upgrade from the uh, regular bass box. There are two extra lures in there. Uh, then they have a fly fishing box, which is uh, everything Umqua, I think, uh, from Umqua. Um, and then if you don't know what Umqua is, it's like a fly fishing manufacturer. Uh, and then they have a walleye box, a multi-species box, and a saltwater box. Uh, so the Biowa Divinator Mini. 
get this out here. Like I said, it is five sixteenths of an ounce. Uh, it's got like a little uh, spin back here on the back to make some uh, like flash in the water. And then it has a treble hook right here. Uh, They're pretty sharp. I took this to a pond yesterday, you know, just to see the action on this. And it swims tried and true right out of the package. Um, I don't know how it would do, you know, in, uh, you know, heavy current water. You know, especially if trout are going to be, uh, you know, either below that current or, you know, in that current, you know, waiting for stuff to come down like flies or any type of insect to come on top of the water to where they can, you know, easily get a snack or, you know, a meal or something, like, whichever you guys want to call it. But uh, with this lure right here, uh, I had it on a medium action casting rod with a bait caster. You know, that's all I had yesterday to see, you know, for a few minutes fishing with it to see how it would work. Um... If you guys are using a bait caster with a casting rod, uh, I recommend maybe having a medium light or a light casting rod. Uh, you know, with you know just a bait caster. You know, whichever you guys, whichever one that you guys have, uh, any gear ratio would probably work. This thing sinks slow, so I probably probably prefer a, a slower gear ratio reel, maybe like a five one to one. You know, let that bait be able to sink more whenever you are retrieving it. Um, I'd throw this in, uh, I guess, open water. Uh, well, kind of open water, you know, going from open water, you know, down to maybe the rocks or if there's some wood or something like that down in the creek or river, whichever guys you were fishing in. And uh, just go with a steady retrieve, you know, throw it out and let it sink to wherever you guys think those trout are at. They can be in multiple different places from what I've experienced being out trout fishing. They have been, you know, right up at the surface, uh, at the bank, you know, around rocks. Uh, they have been in, uh, like, the mid-water uh, column and down deep on the bottom as well. So, I uh, work all of the water columns with the steady retrieve, count down, like, one, two seconds, and then start your retrieve. And then, you, you know, if you the further you go down, maybe add one or two seconds to be able to allow that bait to drop. All right, the next thing that we're going to go over is these, um, I think it was not head tackle. Uh, yeah, not head tackle jigs right here. Uh, these things are a lot. I re make, recommend, I don't know why I keep getting my words mixed up, but I recommend throwing these like on an ultra light rod, preferably a spinning rod and spinning reel with light line. So these things are sm so small and small jig heads for trout. Uh, maybe like two, two to four pound test fluorocarbon line. That's what I would use, you know, to get the inv invisibility uh, with that line so the trout cannot see that line because trout are really, really finicky and they can see just about everything. So uh, what, the way that I work these, I do it two ways. I'd swim them and I'd also bounce them off the bottom of uh, the water column, you know, right down on the bottom, around rocks, uh, stuff like that. Uh, cast it out. If you're going to swim it, cast it out and uh, let it sink for a second and then start reeling and pop your rod a little bit just like that. And then if you're going to hop it off the bottom, cast it out and let it sink all the way down to the bottom and just pop your rod tip every couple times and then reel in your slack and do it like that. Just hop it down on the bottom. Uh, now the next thing is these must add hooks. Um, hmm. I guess these things would be good, you know, if you were uh, using corn or night crawlers or something like that, you know, do it the old school way, tie your hook on and then attach a little split shot and just cast it out with whatever you guys are using, corn, night crawlers, power bait, uh, anything like that. And uh, just let it sit there and let the trout come by and do the work for you. Uh, the next thing is these Lake Fork Trophy lures, uh, the little uh, swim baits right here. I'll get one out for you real quick and let you look at it. This is what it looks like. It's a little uh, baby shed uh, imitation. kind of looks kind of like a minnow, you know, perfect size for those trout. Uh, it has a little curly tail on the back of it instead of a paddle tail like most other things do that's out on the market. Uh, it's got some glitter in there and stuff like that, but uh, 
I, well, I would recommend fishing these on a jig head. Sorry, I had to turn the volume down on my phone when people started texting me. But uh, work these on a jig head, kind of like the same size that these not head tackle jigs are. Just throw it out and swim it and you pop your rod tip, stuff like that. You can work these probably in any body of water or any area of the water column. Uh, the last two things in here I'm going to go over pretty quick because my video is starting to get long. These are the Trout Stingers by Southern Pro. I work them the exact same way on the jig head and uh, just bounce it up and down uh, on the water column. Uh, with everything that I've covered right here with uh, these uh, Lake Fork Lures, the Trout Stingers, uh, these Knothead Tackle Jigs and Grubs, and these little mustad hooks, throw on a light line, you guys, and a ultra light uh, setup, spinning setup, preferably, especially if you guys are fishing in a creek, wading in a creek. Because you know if you guys get down to wading in a creek, you've got trees on both sides and then trees overhanging over on the creek and stuff like that. And if you've got a long rod and you're in there wading a creek, you know, it's going to be pretty hard to cast and stuff like that. So use a short rod, ultra light setup. Pretty simple, and it's a good fight if you get a pretty good fish. You know, if you got an ultra light or a micro light, and you hook like a two pound trout, it's like fighting like an eight pound bass. But uh, the last things on here that's in here is this little jerk bait by Best. Uh, perfect size for these trout. I fish for trout in the winter and the spring and the fall that's the only time i fish for them sometimes in the summer but you know in those summer days get hot trout like cold moving water uh, cold and moving water and they're going to be down deep and stuff like that and don't want to hit whenever the weather's hot that's why i fish for bass mostly in the summer but this little jerk bait right here uh, the way I'd work it is just cast it out. I'd use a little bit of thicker line on this, maybe six to eight pound fluorocarbon. Uh, you can use it either on a casting setup or spinning setup. Like I said, I'm going to be fishing in a creek most of the time, and I will use a ultra light spinning rod and spinning reel. Uh, what I do is just cast this sucker out and go pop, pop, pop with my rod tip, let it sit for a second, because I'm sure this thing floats, I'm not for sure, don't take my word on that, but it probably does, and uh, once you stop either reeling or popping your rod tip, it's going to start moving up in the water column, do that, just let it sit for like a half a second, and then pop, 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 reel in your slack, pop, 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 reel in your slack, work it like that, and this bill will go down in the water column, making this little jerk bait go like this. And then it'll start rising up and then pop, pop, pop. And about 95% of the time, after you quit doing the pop, 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 when it starts coming up, that's whenever those trout are gonna strike. Or if you go pop, pop, pop and let it sit, and after you get that first pop, they will strike like that. But guys, thanks for watching this Lucky Tackle Box uh, 2016 November Trout Edition unboxing. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Please click that little red box and subscribe to this YouTube channel, Trout in the Mountains. And also go and subscribe to my other YouTube channel, NC Bassin TV. That link will be in the description if you guys like bass fishing or want to learn more about bass fishing. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment section. And I'll catch you later, guys. Have a good day.